from Youngstown, that Ohio. Performing is actually something that I have to work at. I ignore the and I respect artists come. who are spoken word artists and who, correct, who you know, incorporate um, j the dramatic factor into the stage, you know, into their work. But it, I think it's two separate things, you know. So I definitely respect that and I acknowledge that that definitely is my weakness. My strength is in, in my writing. The dynamic that they were speaking of, it, it becomes monotonous because, because of the clicks, that now becomes a definition of poetry or spoken word, and everybody just begins to sound the same. And the people, you know, that have that uniqueness are bringing something totally different that might challenge them, might scare them a little bit. It's rejected because they don't understand it or don't respect it. I just um, come off stage, and um, there was an individual who stopped me after the show, and it might appear to someone else that he was giving compliments and you know was just complimenting the show and you know behaving mm -hmm. as a fan but to me they weren't really compliments because it, it was more than just you know i like your performance or you seem talented mm -hmm. it was more you know romantically based and in my opinion some compliments really they have no depth if you have only known me you know for so long admirer i am what they say magnificent and beautifully made, with hair twisted and bent like the broken back of the beaten slave, with longing eyes searching for the message lying lost in aborted infants' graves, transcending beyond the superficialities of this pop culture. You see, my father is the keenest and most excellent of all sculptors. Admirer, I am what you suspect, highly favored and protected. My wisdom prohibits that foolishness like, oh girl, he can get it, you know, like he got to lick it before he dick it. And my self-respect is reflected in my bohemian slash sophisticated slash former slash daughter type dress. Yeah, but the problem is you stumbled here by accident. Your perception of beauty had you lying helplessly at my feet and you would spend your life so proving that image already created in your mind for the last time. You don't know me. And while I may be all those things from depth to simplicity, infatuation has blinded your image and ignorant lust would be the mortar which holds the walls of your prison. See, I may be whole, but perfect I am not. And I don't wish to be your worship idol and spend my life measuring up to your dreams. So please just stop. Let me explain what you've chosen to ignore. I'm a bitch at night and even worse in the morning. Sometimes I'm selfish and just don't give a damn and what I need is a godly man not afraid to put down his hand. See, he's not intimidated by me or infatuated with me. He stands in awe and knows what to submit, but I will be his wife and not his trophy, bitch. Listen, a woman isn't a woman until she can testify. Tell the world of the hell for which she spread her thighs and only because of God can I stand upright. Admire until you modify your vision, you might as well before the devil's plight, so depart from me. Until you can cherish my imperfections and chastise my flaws, you really don't know what it is to truly love me.